So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 subject test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 49. Suppose cos theta equals u in 0 less than theta less than pi over 2. Then tan theta equals what? So what's this question asking? They're saying, suppose that cos theta equals u. That means, what is cosine? So Katoa, right? So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if this were to be on the unit circle, we could say that there's some triangle and we know its hypotenuse is 1 because it's on the unit circle. That's an assumption, by the way, that it's on the unit circle, but we can use it. And the cosine is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if the hypotenuse is 1, let's be complete here. Cos theta equals A over H. So if the hypotenuse is 1, then this just becomes A. Oh, um, by A I mean adjacent. In our case, cos theta equals U. So U equals A. In other words, if the cosine theta is u, then the length of the adjacent side is u, because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and if it's the unit circle, the hypotenuse is 1. Hopefully that's clear. Then we know that this angle is theta, and we know it's a right triangle, because it always is on unit circle. And that gives us enough information that we can find the length of the opposite side in terms of u. Let's call it x for a moment. We can now write the Pythagorean theorem for this triangle, right? We can say x squared plus u squared equals 1 squared, which is 1. So we could write x in terms of u, and we're going to want to do that. Then they're telling us that this takes place for theta between 0 and pi over 2, which is just saying that it takes place in the first quadrant. And the reason that's important is because if it was some other quadrant, the tangent could end up being negative, right? If it was over in the second quadrant or the fourth quadrant, the tangent would be negative. But if it's in the first quadrant, the tangent's going to be positive, so we can be sure about that. And what is the ratio for the tangent? Again, Sokotoa, tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent, which in our case is x over u. So tan theta equals x over u. But they specifically instructed us to do it, well, they didn't instruct us, but all the answer choices are in terms of u, so this x has no meaning. We made it up. We put it there. So we'll have to isolate x in this algebraic expression to find out what it is in terms of u. Pretty easy to do, right? Just subtract u squared from both sides, and you'll find out that, let me just come down here for a moment, we have x squared equals 1 minus u squared, and then take the square root of both sides. So x by itself equals square root 1 minus u squared, and make that substitution for x back into here. So square root 1 minus u squared, if I can fit that in there, all over u. And which choice is that? 1 minus u squared over u? That's e. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.